Those were not facts. You admitted in court that what you said was not a fact. The things you were saying, they weren't facts. We're not talking about that. We're talking about your lies, ma'am. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. If this is your first time, my name is Tiff with the T. I upload weekly content. On my channel, you can expect me to talk about relationships. I do a lot of reaction videos and just current topics. Um, I consider myself a realist. So if that sounds like something you may be interested in, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. So I know I haven't been following up with this story, but I have been meaning to comment on the Cardi B and Tasha K lawsuit. To give you a quick rundown, if you don't know anything about what's going on, uh, Tasha K is a YouTuber. She has about a million subscribers and she made some very serious allegations against Cardi B um, regarding STDs, saying she was a prostitute, um, that she cheated on her husband offset. She said all kinds of malicious things about Cardi B. At some point, Back in 2019, she filed a lawsuit against Cardi B, and I think the lawsuit was thrown out, and then Cardi B countersued because she wouldn't stop slandering her. She wouldn't stop defaming her name. It really just seemed like Cardi B was sick of the nonsense, and she wanted to teach Tasha K a lesson, so she filed a lawsuit against Tasha K. So this has been going on for some years now and on Monday the judge finally ruled in Cardi B's favor and is awarding her upwards of four million dollars, 3.8 million dollars, some figure around there. Um, Tasha K has been ordered to pay Cardi B for um, emotional distress. On CNN it says that the judge awarded Cardi B 1.5 million dollars in punitive damages, 1 million for general damages such as pain, suffering, and reputational injury, and 1 million three hundred and thirty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty three dollars and forty seven cents in litigation expenses. So I don't know how they got that 47 cents honey but they went and got their little calculator out and that's how much Tasha K owes her. Um, she was also awarded $250,000 in medical expenses, but it says that both parties agreed to reduce that amount to $25,000. The things that Tasha K has been saying about Cardi B, they were found to be false. Tasha K was basically lying. Um, it came out in court that everything that she said, she knew she was lying and there's no excuse for it. Cardi B has spoken out and she's talked about how difficult this has been for her, how these allegations even led her to the point of contemplating suicide. That's how much of an impact Tasha K's comments have had on Cardi B and her lifestyle. So after the judge rules in Cardi B's favor, she tweets on Twitter, why am I happy but sad at the same time? When I saw that statement, I really felt for Cardi B because Cardi B seems to be a woman who genuinely just minds her business and wants to be in her bag, get her money, and take care of her family. Um, she doesn't seem like she's really into all the drama and she really didn't seem like she wanted to take it there with Tasha K, but because Tasha K kept on posting videos about her, kept on going on lives, um, dragging her name through the mud, I feel like she felt that she had to take her to court in order to get her to stop. And what I see when I see this statement is she's happy that she's won, but she's sad that she's tearing another woman down, a black woman at that. Um, whether you recognize Cardi B for being black or not, she's Dominican and she does have black ancestors. Anyway, <laughs> that doesn't really seem like Cardi's character. Like, she doesn't strike me as the type of celebrity who who wants to drag other people down in order to make it to the top or drag other women down. She doesn't strike me as the malicious type of person. She don't mess with anybody. So when you mess with her, just know that she's going to bring the smoke. She doesn't go out of her way to have issues with people. So when she tweeted that she was happy and sad at the same time, it's like, yeah, I'm happy I won. But at the same time, like somebody's gonna have to pay for it you know and that's not i didn't want to take it there you get what i'm saying and that's deep being vulnerable and letting people know like i have feelings about this and yeah it's a win but it's a loss 
too. At the end of the day, we should at least be able to relate to the fact that we're both women and we should not be here right now. You get what I'm saying? But it is what it is. After all this went down, Tasha K, uh, she posted that she was going to make a statement about the verdict. I was anxious to see what she was going to say because it's like, okay, do you have money, sis? Are you going to be able to pay this? Are you going bankrupt? Are they going to shut your channel down? Like, what is going on? And, well, let's just roll the clip. Let's just, let's see what, what happens. All right, these last four years fighting this conspiracy case have been extremely challenging and yet I wouldn't change a single thing about any of it. I've learned so much. Every moment was incredibly powerful and insightful. The verdict handed down on Monday was no shock to myself, my husband, or my legal team. We are prepared and we were prepared for this challenge from the beginning. Prepare for the worst, as we said. We called bluff against a machine that wanted to bully me for not wavering from my personal beliefs. A machine that has corporate interests to protect prostitution, drug use, promiscuity, and to glorify the violence that wrecks havoc on our society and in our neighborhoods. And to glorify its soul. Wait, 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 wait. This does not sound like an apology. The only thing she needs to be saying in this video is, I'm sorry, Cardi B, I messed up. That's the only thing we should be hearing out of her mouth right now. You lied on this woman. You need to put your pride to the side and admit that you effed up. To our children as the it factor. This machine, this thing, secured an extremely prejudicial verdict against myself and my company solely off of sympathy and payola. Asking me to redact the real reason as to why I was reporting on the issues at hand and succeeded in making me out to be an angry and malicious woman. Reporting on the issues at hand? Girl, you was lying about issues that didn't exist. Lying that she had herpes. Lying that she was a prostitute. Lying that she cheated on her husband. You lied. Call a spade a spade. Like, this is narcissism at its finest. If you can't admit when you're wrong, anything that happens to you, you deserve it. I mean, the fact that the judge ruled in Cardi B's favor, saw all the facts of the case, you admitted in court that you were lying and now here you are trying to defend that? <sighs> Man, this is this is not looking good for Tasha K right now. It in making me out to be an angry and malicious woman. This is a real business. I am a wife of 17 years a mother to a beautiful 15 year old girl. Okay, and Cardi B is also a wife and a mother. And on those two points, you should be able to have some freaking sympathy from woman to woman, from wife to wife, from mother to mother. She has kids too. How do you think it's affecting her kids that you're lying about their mother? This is disgusting, unacceptable. And a two year old son my platform creates news and sheds light on the issues going on in our society. 
My First Amendment right poses a threat to the machine's sole intention to mislead the public with caricatures built on violence, selling sex, and images of a denounced stereotype. Look at Chicago and LA and various other cities that can't even sit in their own living room and braid their kids' hair without worrying about bullets flying through and killing their children. My first- Girl, what does that have to do with you lying on Cardi B? What does the shooting in Chicago and LA have to do with you? Why are you talking about the machine? Why didn't you just apologize? You are caught red-handed. You're teaching your children that when they're wrong, they don't have to apologize. They just have to change the narrative and it'll go away. No, it doesn't work like that. This amendment right was painted to the public and courts as a bully, vile, and malicious towards a machine that glorifies a lifestyle meant to serve as modern day genocide on our people. A machine that clearly influences our children on how to kill, sell their bodies, and more. You can't bully someone or something that takes pride in painting our children and teaching our children to be degenerates. And if you are a public figure that pushes this image and this lifestyle for likes and views and a way to make money in our society, then I and we have the duty to exercise our First Amendment right as traditional media and new age digital media analysts to say no, this ain't it. Wow. The cojones on this woman. She got a lot of nerve. A lot of nerve. Is she hearing herself? This is not defamation or invasion of privacy when these machines have pushed this lifestyle on us for profit. This ain't about $4 million. This machine never wanted my money. They wanted to shut down my company in order to protect their assets that glorify this reckless and dangerous lifestyle pushed on us and our children. It was about someone demanding that I respect and give respect to something that has never earned my respect. This is about changing the trajectory of how things have been done in Hollywood for over a century. There are no more gatekeepers, no more red tape, no more waiting to be picked and told what you have to do. If we simply believe in ourselves and our God-given right to live our lives purposeful and don't allow our gifts to die with us, we all hold the key to change. New age digital media such as myself and traditional media, we exercise our First Amendment right to publish. New age digital media? Is that what you call yourself? Is that what you call your slander and your gossip and your lies? <laughs> our opinions and facts concerning these caricatures of stereotypes pushed in our homes and into our society. This is like somebody and saying, we, we need to address to the elephant in the room. Because there's money on and the you table. say, what elephant? No. All I see is a penguin. Absolutely not. Ma'am! This case was meant to drain me financially, and it did not. And send a message to anyone who thinks they have the right to challenge a machine that protects. I want to know who wrote interest. this speech for Miss Tasha. Knew this who wrote this? We knew Come this forward, please. Our First Amendment right was intentionally hindered from the moment the case was filed. My company and I have built a platform that has been stamped over and over by traditional media and, most importantly, my viewers. You all. I have broken hundreds of stories on this platform from the moment I started recording videos in my guest bedroom back in 2015 while working at Seasons 52 as a server. I know y'all maybe think this is over, but no, this is just the beginning. I will spend as many years as I can to protect our right to voice our opinions and facts on these images that are sold and pushed on us. The appeal process has already started and we intend to expose every conspiracy against me, my company, and my family. 
I was supposed to be destroyed it's over. a long time ago. Let it go. Apologize it and move on. I am still here. We are still here. This machine tried to squeeze us for everything, but God said otherwise and blessed us with much, much more. We have built this platform video by video from my guest bedroom back in 2015, coupled with the best and most creative eyes and hands in production, my husband, my backbone. And he is the only man that encouraged me to fight this case from the beginning. My case will set a precedent for all future media, and we intend to fight until the truth is out. There was no defamation, no invasion of privacy, and suicidal thoughts, and we proved that with sufficient factual evidence. What? Okay, if you proved it, then why did the judge rule against you in her favor? That means you didn't prove what you were supposed to prove. That means she proved what she was supposed to prove. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this. In court, my lawyers taught me about preserving the record so that it's noted for the future. Well, this is me right now preserving the record. We will fight no matter the cost or length, even if this takes years. I spent 11 years building this platform to serve as a leader in media. Media is a power, fighting machines with endless money protecting their investments. My husband has spent over 20 years working in production. We have over 1 million viewers and hundreds of millions of viewers and most who have been with us since the very beginning. I love y'all so much for that. Y'all built me. And y'all are the only ones who can take away the viewers. I show my gratitude and appreciation by fighting for this priceless gift. You have gifted my family and me and the right to exercise our freedom of speech as human beings. Kibi Studios is a household name. Unwind with Tasha K. It's just one of the subsidiaries and we intend to break out many more. Although the court hasn't instructed us to take the videos down, I've always said that I will comply with any court or jury. The videos have been taken down to show good faith to the courts because I respect the courts. We respect the courts. This machine has tried to have me arrested, threatened my life, and created a fake narrative about me. And I want you to ask yourself this. Why does the federal government subpoena my work on this channel if it's fake news? Why do state police departments request my videos for their cases? Why do media sites all over the world quote my work, our work? I want better for this, for us, and I live that better. Everything I represent, marriage, two-parent household, and working for every dime I make without harming the next person to get there. I create videos including humor and truth to take us out of depression and get our minds off of sickness and financial burdens, and no machine will ever stop me. I get your emails daily encouraging me to keep going, and I love y'all so much for that for accepting me as me. This trial was purely sympathy and payola to protect corporate interests, and we intend to take this all the way to the Supreme Court if need be. This is my life, and I will spend my life fighting for my livelihood in our First Amendment right as human beings. Dozens of major media outlets, the New York Times, Associated Press, Billboard, etc have requested comments. And I've asked my lawyers to inform you all on our appeal process every step of the way. And I wanna thank the winos. And before I go, I saw that there were a few fundraisers that were started under my name, 
We did not create those, nor do we need those, and nor will we ever create a fundraiser for anything. And with that being said, I want you guys to report them if you see them. We have reported a few, but obviously dozens are popping up to scam under our company. Signing off, winos, we will be back. Exclo <clears throat> we will be back serving exclusive wine this Friday. And with that being said, now I got to go. Bye. I cannot. <sighs> Bye. I gotta go. <laughs>